what up guys so let's get into why I actually quit my job at the kindergarten well first let's I want to explain a little bit about kindergartens in Japan the kindergartens in Japan uh, they are going to be from five year old five years old and down so all the way down to one year old so you're kind of in a preschool slash daycare setting and you'll be teaching English in that age range typically when I applied for the job I got a response uh, pretty quickly actually and went in for the interview when I went to the interview the first day you usually have to put on a uh, demo lesson but my demo lesson wasn't really a lesson and that should have been my first red flag my lesson just really consisted of me getting a book and reading to them. After I read to them, I watched another class's lunch and then I was finished. I got the job. And yeah, that was a, my interview and hiring process. Really strange, really quick, just like my other jobs though, so I wasn't really too put off by it. Uh, everybody else seemed really cool. Uh, the lady that I was my uh, the lady that was my direct boss, she spoke pretty good English, so I was I was fine. First day of work. So the first day of work I got there, we had to be there by 8.30. I tried to be a little bit earlier to my lessons, so I got there probably like 8.15 because I left home early because I didn't know how long it took for the bus to get there. And it was my first time taking a bus in Japan. At my other at my high school job, I just walked to work. It was that close, but uh, I learned how to I, I learned how to take a bus, which really wasn't that hard. You just kind of get on, and then when you get off, you just give them the money, and the money is on a screen that's like really really big, so it's like 240 yen. Oh okay, finished. My first day, I got there and they gave me a metric ton of books just a lot of, uh, tons of kids books tons of flashcards tons of one kind of material that you can the one kind of curriculum that you can teach in a year and then a little bit of another part of a curriculum that you can teach in a year and then a little bit of another part of a curriculum you can teach in a year basically I was given probably a good 10 different curriculums that I could teach this year at the school. Now, this was kind of interesting to me because I assumed that since I was working at a kindergarten, there'd be a curriculum that they have from each year, so that way when they graduate this kindergarten, then they would know exactly what all the kids knew. But that was not the case. After getting my big box of shit to bring to my room. I brought it to my room, uh, met with the Japanese teacher that I was working with at the time who spoke zebra English and tried my best to introduce myself in my broken Japanese and drop my box off and waited for the kids to arrive. Once my kids got there, and this is typical for working in a kindergarten also usually, is you will just be with the kids until your English lesson and then it's your time to teach then after your English lesson it's you just in the room with the kids just playing and supporting the Japanese teacher but at the time I was not really put off by it I mean it was a challenge and I like challenges so I took it up I did my best that I could and yeah that worked for probably about a week 